Alright, so today we're going to look at the new update that just released for Arena Stars. A lot of balance changes, a lot of different things, um, like uh, player leveling up and things like that, which we'll talk about in just a minute. Uh, but first of all, I do want to say my last few videos have been on Arena Stars, just simply for the fact that I'm really enjoying the game. The, dev the developers are extremely supportive, um, and if you're not playing this game, I highly recommend it. And also join the Discord where there's a lot of players um, that are willing to help you with strategies, uh, that are willing to um, play friendlies with you, test new decks out with you. It's where the developers take all your feedback, um, so definitely check out that Discord as well. Um, it worth worth your time for sure, absolutely. Uh, but besides that, let's move on into the actual video. Um, the first thing we're going to see that's changed is the player level. So previously, it took quite a while to get yourself up to a certain level. Once you got there, um, you got your engine, your engine hit points here. Yeah, where is it? Are they taken? Are they taken away? Yeah, there used to be an engine hit points here um, but that's no longer relevant anymore so it's not here uh, instead now uh, it's much faster you earn experience per match and you um, every time you level up you get a bounty chest so far I have had shards in every single chest which is amazing um, and who knows what the other whether it's just be shards whether it'll be something else along the way I don't know uh, but that's one of the big changes so it's gonna be a lot easier for you to grind um, and you also get 10 keys every time you level up as well so if you think oh I'm looking a little bit low on keys just grind a few matches and you'll get those 10 keys and you can keep grinding those chests it's a really nice free to play way of doing things um, it's not forcing you to buy things and it's certainly not forcing you into having to wait a long period of time you can grind if you want to get those keys you can also wait you can also purchase them those are options but you don't have to and that's what I like about this game. You don't have to if you don't want to. You can still be competitive without having to spend a lot of cash. I highly recommend spending cash on the amazing cosmetics. But that is just my opinion. <laughs> um, talking of um, cosmetics, now that we've covered the player, um, the player experience change. Um, let us go over to the teams and show you before, before the update. Uh, you couldn't um, you had to wait for the certain cosmetic to appear in the shop So you had to wait for the one you wanted now you can just go into uh, go into your heroes Click on each of the skins and you can see there that I can buy them straight away with shards some of the rarer skins are priced more um, Which is absolutely fine. I want both of these skins and I will be getting both of these skins as soon as I have the cash um, that applies to all heroes. Ugh, my mouse is playing up. Sorry. That applies to all heroes. Just click on the hero, um, or scroll down to the hero rather. Click on the skins, and again, you can see that all of the skins are purchasable. Only this one is only available in the season pass for now. Once the season pass ends in nine days' time, that will become available for you to purchase as well. But essentially, the season pass gives you early access to cosmetics and early access to certain cards. Um, now that we've gone on to the season pass, I do for next season. I do highly recommend next season get in the season pass. You get a lot of good stuff along the way. You can see there, you get wild cards, you get legendary cards, you get legendary chests. It is well worth the money, and it does give the developers that little bit of support. Um, to give them some cash back. All right, so that's we've covered the player level. We've covered the new, um, the new skins being purchasable. Wild cards. That's the next thing we can look at. So the wild cards have changed. Um, this is so previously the wild cards you could only use them on heroes, uh, but this is the way they intended them to be. So you can see here, I currently have no wild cards, but when you do, one wild card will equal a hundred common, twenty-five rare, three epic one legendary or one hero so what that means is you can click on here um, let's get somebody else who I've actually got some in here we go perfect example so if I had one wild card right now I could convert this wild card into a mechan card and I could upgrade my mechan to level 3 I could do the same with my legendary if I go down here I believe this one is nearly ready to level up no he's not I lied but again the same 
I could transfer one of these wild cards into one of these legendary. Or I could scroll down here and I could transfer one wild card into three epic cards towards my sniper. So it's going to be a lot easier for you to level things up, upgrade things and um, kind of buff up your team a little bit. So that's the other new thing we have, the new system for wild cards. Miss T has took a nerf. Um, talking of the nerf to Miss T's ultimate, it hasn't really changed her in my opinion. I still think um, that there isn't any difference. Um, the, 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 the ultimate drop hasn't made her too weak. It's balanced her out very nicely in my opinion. Um, so she takes enough damage that she can actually be killed in her T now if you're not careful. So you've got to be a little bit more careful with her. But overall, the balance is brought her on balance with the others, which is great. You'll also see now uh, that in this new update that your hero uh, description abilities are actually, they have a bit more detail to them now, which is really nice. So like here, activate the heal all nearby allies for 120 hit points. The circle heals for additional 12 hit points every 0.5 seconds. So you're aware of the timings. Her attacks damage all enemies in a 1.5 radius. Up until this point, I did not realize that. I thought she damaged one enemy that was in front of her. So me reading that is really good to know. Uh, same goes for all the other um, the other heroes as well. Reduces damage by 80%, so you know how much damage has been reduced for three seconds. So those descriptions on there are really nice. Um, really gives you a better idea of what hero you want to play and what their abilities are about. Um, let me make sure I'm covering everything, and then we will open up the chests afterwards. The other thing they've changed is crowns have now changed the keys. Uh, just makes a little bit more sense since uh, we're opening chests with them, so they changed it to keys. Um, oh, the other thing, yes. So the other thing we've got here is the new thing that I really like is battle history. You can scroll through and you can see your battle history. Uh, you can see who you faced, you can see what team you faced, you can see what your team was, um, all of that good stuff, and you can adjust your deck, tweak your deck, see which um, heroes are countering your deck, see which heroes aren't countering your deck, see which en enemy decks are just countering your deck, not necessarily the hero even. Um, so battle history is a really nice thing. Um, actually, it's just jumping to one battle because, no, we're gonna battle, I don't wanna open it now, because I'm gonna show you something else at the end of the battle that is new as well. Against a Mechan. All right, let's see how we go here. I struggle against Mechan sometimes. It depends what kind they are. If she's a Siege Mechan, we are screwed. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start off by dropping my Chain Gang. Oh, <laughs> she does the same. Interesting. All right, same strategy going on here. I'm gonna attack the Chain Gang, but I've got us. I'm also gonna drop my Rhino, and I'm gonna get out of there because I've got taken too much damage right there. Drop my cubes on the hero and see if the Rhino can take it out. I'm now gonna drop my Sniper. She's a Siege deck. Yep, she's a Siege deck. We're screwed. I can see that worm on my deck now, and she's going to use the chain gangs to try and take down my engine. My engine's already half. Look at this worm. The damage on this worm's crazy. Damage on the worm is crazy. Look at it. Just wiping out that. Wow. Okay. And she's got another worm out. There's nothing we can do here. Absolutely nothing we can do here. Our engine's down already. There's nothing we can do. It's, uh... I, I personally don't... Particularly, I think I find the worm a little bit too powerful in my opinion. That is just my opinion, but yeah. We're just gonna sit this one out and wait because there's literally nothing we can do right now. That was unfortunate. Uh, it's a good deck though, a strong deck. Um, there must be a way. I'm gonna f try and find a way to counter those worms. There has to be a way. Alright, so the, the main point of me showing you that one anyway, besides the loss, let's ignore the loss. <laughs> I'll deal with that with my deck later. Um, the new thing they've also put in now is stats, which is again another amazing thing. So you can see what's doing the damage, what's taking the damage, what you can maybe take out of your deck if it's not dealing any damage at all. Maybe you can switch that out. How many times you used your abilities. Um, and you can also look at what the enemy did as well. So you can see what troops did the most damage to your side. Um, total damage dealt, total hero dealt. It's all great statistics that you can use to improve your deck, to improve your strategy, to improve how you play. 
Um, so I really like that as well. Uh, overall, this this update is fantastic um, with the battle history and everything else. Um, but for now, to wrap up the video, let's go ahead and open these chests. Let's start with the um, the uh, the rare first, and then we'll move on to our legendary coins. Is always nice. Oh, perfect. Just what I needed. I needed some cannon here. Nice. And now let's open up our legendary and hope for some good luck. Shock's not bad. Alright, don't need that. Don't really need that. Don't really need that. What else are we getting? Come on, give me some good. Oh, sniper. I like it. I take it. And here's our legendary. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be a walking. Alright, that's not bad. I don't use him, but I... Oh, we got a hero! Nice! And it's Miss T! Yes! That made my, that made the chest all the more better. Oh, I'll take that. Perfect. Um, Alright, I think I covered everything for this video. That is the update. And once again, I highly recommend giving this game a try. And if you're not in the, in the developers Discord, please come join the community. Uh, there's a lot of friendly people in here. And the devs are always willing to listen to feedback and make adjustments as they can.